Welcome back to Living Local. A slice of Ethiopia is right here in downtown Davenport. Today we're out and about at Taste of Ethiopia, getting a sample of how this ethnic cuisine expresses Ethiopian heritage and lifestyle. I'm joined by the owners, Gannett and George Moritis. You guys, thank you so much for letting us stop by. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. So tell us about the history behind Taste of Ethiopia. Um, we started uh, 2016 Taste of Ethiopia with my two friends and we took my George and I, we took over 2017 and 18. So when the food hub kitchen closed, so we started looking at place and we end up here. Wonderful. Now before we dive into the food, can you guys give us a little geography lesson? Where is Ethiopia? Uh, Ethiopia is located in East Africa. It's called the Horn of Africa. So bordered by Kenya and Sudan in South Sudan. Wonderful. Okay, what is unique about Ethiopian food? Uh, because it, the way we serve it and uh, the way we share, the way we use our hands to eat it, and it's more vegetables than the meat. So it's only Ethiopian eat it and everything is fresh. Wonderful. Okay, so we have a ton of examples here. Mm -hmm. So walk us through what we're seeing here. Gannett. Sure. Um, so this is a veggie plate. So we have a lot of customers, vegetarian or vegans. And so this is what you usually eat. So this one is regular lentil, non-spicy lentil, bits, cabbage. It's almost like potato, uh, tomato uh, salad. It's like pico. Okay. Spicy lentil split pea and shiro. Shiro is our staple food. Chickpeas. Chickpeas, yeah. Chickpeas. yes. Lots of vegetables yeah. there. Vegetables. So that is the vegetarian yes. plate. Yes. And then over here, I'm noticing a little more yes. meat action yes. going on. Yes. <laughs> so this is not spicy beef and spicy. We use a lot of chili peppers. Mm -hmm. So that's everybody likes spicy in Ethiopia. And green beans and potato and gomen, greens. Uh, call it greens and potato and carrots and that spicy tips so wow. that's customer special yeah, yeah and it's a all, seller. all of our vegetables are mm -hmm. cooked with like fresh ginger fresh garlic it's it's normal vegetables just cooked a little bit different and uh, all the vegetables are vegan too we don't use any butter or any anything milk or anything like that so vegans would be happy with this. Yes. <laughs> wow, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Now, in addition to the way it's displayed mm -hmm. and the different spices that make it unique, mm -hmm. the way you eat Ethiopian food yes. is also unique. So can you guys uh, walk me through how to sure, eat Ethiopian sure. food? So, I mean, the uniqueness is there is no utensils. So God create your hands to eat injera. These are so our this is yes. <laughs> so so like if we share food, mm. we usually stay in our spot. Mm. So but as a family, if I eat with George, I can jump and eat there. Okay. Because we use our hands, so you can't lick your fingers. Mm -hmm. So you have to cut a piece of injera, and you can grab anything with it. So you just drop it and just grab it. You drop and grab. And grab. So okay. you can mix, like I can go oh. and grab it here. I can grab some here. So that's the way you eat it. And usually you push it with your big thumb so you won't mess up anything. Wow, do you guys, what kind of reactions do you get from people that are trying to eat Ethiopian food oh. for the first time? He thought it was a napkin first. So a lot <laughs> of people think it's a napkin. But yeah, this is, it soaks the sauce. So it's easy to grab instead of using your fork. Mm. So that's, in, it makes sense. It's so sweet and sour. When you eat it with a vegetable, it really makes it more uh, special, I think. What is this called again? Injera. Injera, and yeah. how do you make injera? It's it's blended with F, T-E-F-F. -F. It's the smallest grain in the world, yeah. So it's, you can even see it, and it has barley and uh, fermented like two, three days before you make it. And you use it a big pan and uh, make a circle like a pancake. Right, because yeah. yeah, the food is actually mm -hmm. underneath an injera yeah. too. Okay, let me try. I've never yes. done this before, oh, yes. guys. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Okay, so you just like Take a piece. break off a yes. little. Can I use my uh -huh. other hand? Oh, yes, no problem. <laughs> yes. Newbie here. Yes. Okay, and then let me go and over here. Just grab anything. Just yes, grab. grab. Yeah. You drop yes. and then grab. grab I'll grab a yes. little bit of this yes. meat yes. and a little and bit of this. Greens, yeah. And then. I need some practice at this. Yeah, guys. you just hold it <laughs> when you hold it. So, yeah. so you just eat like this. You can hold this hand if you want. To. And then you go ahead. All right, let me try. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so flavorful, you guys. Okay, well, I am enjoying this. Can you tell us more about the coffee ceremony? It's um, the coffee is like um, the human relationship. Like you, there's no 
technology back home, back in the you know in Ethiopia. So what they do is you can call your neighbors, your friends, and you share politics, life, kids, anything you want. So that's a discussion time. So you, you roast the coffee. The first thing is coffee starts in Ethiopia. Mm. The, we have a province called Kafa. So coffee grows in there. So that's what they say. Uh, coffee uh, comes from Ka province Kafa. So we, I roast the coffee here every single day, and you grind it. Then you put it in a pot and wait until it settles. Settle? Yeah. 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 Then that's. I mean, you drink coffee three times a day. Oh wow! So, I like, love it here. Yeah, I know. Culture. Coffee lover yeah. over here. But see, the cups is very small. So is it more concentrated? Yes. Okay, and that's why the, the cups are cups much smaller, smaller than the huge mug yeah. that I usually yeah. use. Yeah, and you <laughs> use three times. So if I have a friend, if you come to my house, you have to wait until. I completed this, this ceremony, which is three times you brew it. Mm. So when you hold it, when you do the coffee, first always to the gas. Oh, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you don't. Oh wow! And Smells yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's fresh yes. every day. So it's uh, fresh roasted, fresh ground, and then uh, boiled with some clove too to yes. give it a unique flavor. The, wonderful. And usually you, we don't use our left hand. Okay. They, they say it's unclean, so usually hold it. Okay. And you hold your right hand with this, and you just give it like this. Oh, just wow. there is a lot of customs you don't think about it. Yeah, and I don't pass anything with my left hand, so I have to make sure I give it to my right. And I need to hold your right hand. Oh, That's I see. part of the culture. And is there a customary way to drink the coffee? Don't 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 make an ass noise. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't make, make an ass noise. <laughs> you just uh, you just hold it mm -hmm. and just yeah. sip. Okay. There. Whoa, that has a kick to it. it. Yeah. Holy smokes, that is delicious. Yeah. Um, how do you guys think that Ethiopian food really shares the culture of Ethiopia with Quad Citizens? I mean, most of our, our customers, they already have the food in the big cities. So most of them have uh, experience with the food, but not in here at the Quad City. So the first time they see it, they were excited. So it pushed us to open the restaurant because they want to come like and Monday, Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday too. And, and also, uh, you know, in the, in the community, we have a lot of, <clears throat> there's a lot of Ethiopians in the community now. And also there's a lot of adopted Ethiopian kids. Uh, they have American parents, so now they can come down here and get some culture here, some of their home, you know, from home. Yeah. What is the most rewarding part for you guys to share Ethiopian, Ethiopian culture with our community? Because you show, you, the, the first thing you share, whatever you have. So what, whatever I love, I bring it to the customers in the community. So the food is, is love, really. And the thing is, I can grab injera and while I eat with you, so to show my friendship, you hold this, and you fix whatever you want, and you can feed somebody else. Oh. So it shows a relationship and a love, and it's, it's a custom. So I make you more closer to our family. So it, it bringing everybody to us, and um, most of them are customers. They never yeah. had Ethiopian food. So they want to come and try it because they have to support us, yeah. And speak. then usually once they come, they, they're repeat customers. <laughs> they're repeat customers, They become yeah. friends, I'm Become yes. friends oh, yeah. and family, friends. yes, yes. Food yeah. is love. I can get food on board with love. that, you guys. Yes, well, yeah. thank you so much for letting You're us welcome. stop by and for sharing your food yes. and your friendship. Thank you, thank you. All right, you guys, for more information, you can find Taste of Ethiopia 2016 on Facebook. More Living Local continues after the break. Stay with us.